kind of like that, you know, uh, when you go to a work environment, kind of like when you see your coworkers, you kind of see them as, as your team, you know, your friends, your, your teammates in the wrestling room. Because, you know, that's what builds, you know, everything up. And, uh, yeah, and what's your, what's your plan for this year for wrestling at Simpson? What's your plan for this year? And uh, what do you think about uh, international wrestling? How do you think of watching uh, uh, United World Wrestling, uh, you know, like the tournaments, competition? How do you think that has helped you so much into this year, if you have seen it? Or NCAA, how does that actually has helped you. And I know that you coach, you know, you're, you're a coach. For you. How does coaching for kids, you know, make you give you that insight about coaching, but also about doing the sport? So, okay, let's start off with my plans. My plans for this year, um, you know, I think everybody has the, the goal of being an All-American. Everybody has the goal of being a national champion, you know, um, how are you going to get there? That's the end result, but how are you going to get there? So uh, to me, my goal is to wrestle tough every match, every position, not get scored on. I want to fight every takedown as hard as possible. You know, my goal is to show my opponent that I'm willing to wrestle and that I have a, a next year that he's not ready for. I want, I want to show him that I have outworked him. You know, so when I go out there and wrestle, I want this guy breathing heavy. And when he's breathing heavy and he thinks we're tired, I'm ready to take it up for for a different gear. I'm ready to pick up the pace and get after it. You know, let this guy know that no matter what position we're getting into, I'm going to win it. You know, um, and I've set myself up for that by wrestling in the room and putting myself in positions that I'm not comfortable in. You know, I think if I become comfortable with the uncomfortable, I think I can't be beat. So uh, my goal for this year is to all American and at the same time, just assert my, my, my position in this weight class. I have prepared too hard. I have sacrificed too much to uh, not take this opportunity and run with it. So I'm taking this opportunity and I'm running with it and I'm going to the end zone. So that's, that's my plans. Um, uh, to the international wrestling, how it's helped me. Uh, I think it's helped me drastically. Um, I've watched international wrestling almost every single day you know, for, for hours. I love watching international wrestling. Even though it is a different style of wrestling than what I'm doing, the way that they position themselves in a match or the way they have their setups is exactly the same. So I like to incorporate it. There's actually a couple moves that I've been trying to, 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 uh, to do in the wrestling room. Um, I've watched Keith Gavin's matches. Um, and he's very slick. He has uh, a lot of tricks. And I think when you're wrestling heavyweights and there's people that are a lot bigger than you, a lot stronger than you, you, you need those little tricks to catch them off guard, to be able to score. And uh, I've been learning that. Um, on top, I've been watching a lot of the Russians. Um, the Russians know how to keep pressure. They know how to keep driving you all your weight to your hands. So I've been, I've been watching that, how to load up your opponent, really wear them down. Um, I've been watching a lot of, of, of Team USA because I, I really feel that condition-wise, we are superior. Um, it's been proven in a lot of matches. USA just has, just has a different gear. USA is, is known for, for breaking their opponents when it comes to the last 30 seconds. They will wrestle hard, and, and most of the other people, they can't keep up. You know, David Taylor's a good example. He He's forged people. He burns them out. He makes them feel that like they don't want to wrestle anymore. Jordan Burroughs does the same thing. He wrestles at a super high pace. And, you know, when it comes down to those last 30 seconds, the guy can't move. He's so much slower. He, he doesn't know what to do. And he just crumbles. So that's, that's kind of what I, I put in my mentality, having that fifth gear. I want to do that to my opponents. Uh, and now to coaching. I think coaching just gives you a completely different insight. I think um, when you're watching somebody else compete, I think you're able to, to see openings that you usually don't see when you're competing. Um, I think you also develop a different mentality. I think in a way, wrestling becomes easier when, you, when you're a coach because you don't have pressure on you to make a mistake. 
to, to be out there on the mat and say, I'm going to take this shot. I know this guy's going to fight it hard. In that sense, you kind of see, okay, if I shoot here and then I turn the corner, I elevate his ankle, right? And you start seeing it differently and you start kind of playing it in your head how this is going to happen. And I think when you, when you push someone else, I think it also kind of lights a fire inside of you. Like if I'm making this guy work, I should be working. I should be leading by example. So it definitely changes your mentality. As for me, I think it made chain wrestling a lot easier for me. I think it made um, seeing my opponent's mistakes a lot easier, a lot more obvious. Um, when you're in a match, it's your job as a coach to see the weaknesses in the other wrestler. You know, so I think you focus a lot more on on the weaknesses. And you see so many different styles when you're a coach. You you have guys that are super, super small, as small as they come. And then you have kids that are as big as they come and everything in between. And when you when you have to coach all those different styles, I think you just become a better all-around wrestler and you're prepared for every style. So um, to me, I feel prepared for anything that's coming. I feel like I've seen it all. So I think I, I pick up on on the setups, on the bait. You know, when someone's baiting the leg, I know it's coming, you know. So you have to keep those things out when, when you're wrestling and you see your wrestler and you see the guy baiting the leg and you tell your guy, hey, he's baiting you. Don't take that leg, you know. So then when I'm in a match and someone's baiting me, I sense it right away. So like, oh, this guy's baiting me. I'm not going to fall for that, you know. Or, or when you're wrestling hard and you, you see, oh, this guy's leaning forward. I could snap. So then you're in a match and you, you, it just comes to you, you know. Oh, he's leaning. Snap, you know. And so um, I think I become my own coach in my head. And I know what to look, what a coach looks for, so I know what a wrestler has to be. So I think that that really uh, helps me a lot when it comes to my wrestling.